Hey guys, this is Sword of Air from Take Yard and welcome back to our channel. And today I've got AOSP Extended for Redmi Note 4. I know a lot of people were asking me about this, so here it is for you all. To be honest, guys, I'm really thankful to you all for providing me this ROM. Really, really, guys, it's a lifesaver for me. Why? It doesn't have that gigantic video crop. Really, seriously. Watch the video till the end, you will get the fact. So coming to the uh, ROM, I mean ROM installation tutorial, watch the video of Linus 14.1, the link in the description. So watch the video, will get it how to install the ROM. Feature is completely same, the procedure is same. So runs on Nougat, yeah, there are ROMs for Redmi 3S Prime so in Nougat, so don't, don't complain about it. And uh, guys, uh, I have installed few ROM uh, apps on this uh, phone uh, that I use and I get around 1.3 GB free. So if you add Facebook, Versa, Messenger, etc, etc, so you will get around 1.2 to 1, 1 GB more or less. So that's okay. Uh, display, we get in the, we get all the standard display features in there. And yes, I don't use WhatsApp. So yeah, that phone, that app is not installed on my device. Yes, I don't use WhatsApp. I know it might be a kind of, you know, uh, hard to digest, but it is true. I don't use WhatsApp. <laughs> Anyways, coming to the extensions, this is where all the customizations are actually, you know, they are here. So starting with the navigation bar, you get a pixel kind of navigation bar, which I love. But uh, given the fact that the backlit, the navigation, hardware navigation keys are backlit, it doesn't, you know, doesn't look great in my opinion. There are some general tweaks, blurs, etc, etc. So yeah, over and all, a pretty good option of uh, customization. You get a plethora of customizations, and I really love the love the fact. I'm not going in depth, but if you want me to go in depth, let me know via the comment section below. I will do that for you all. So guys, here is the running services. You get a uh, direct access to that by you know sliding down from the app drop, uh, sliding down, and then you get the option. So yeah, that's a good thing. There are notifications up in there, and there we get uh, the all the other tiles that you can easily add, you can remove. We get the maximum number of 9 tiles on the first boot and then you can do stuff with that. that. And uh, coming to Volte calling, yeah, Volte calling does work and I will show you that also. So guys, uh, yeah, it is there, Volte calling does work, although I really felt uh, like I've shown you. I really felt that there were some glitch while the call was connected in the dialer app but I think that's acceptable. Get around uh, 61,000 in Android 2, I believe that's okay. Uh, I know 362 to 63,000 is average but it is great. Now coming to the camera, like I was saying, no crop factor, I will show you that. At least it doesn't have a gigantic crop factor to be honest. The camera came out to be very good, Of my, I really love the camera. I mean the camera output was good, The no focus issue, nothing at all and I really love it to be honest. It is my G5 Plus, yeah, do subscribe to my channel for other G5 Plus videos. Now if I get the rooting processor, I will let you know. So guys, uh, there are uh, the camera, I mean the video camera feature like I show you. So there is the camera, I start shooting and you can see, uh, you know, there is no zoom zoom actually while I'm gonna start the sh video shooting. It is called the crop factor. In other ROMs that I have used past, if you check my channel quite, uh, you will know that in any uh, Redmi Note 4 ROM, I have always, always complained about the gigantic video crop factor i really hate the fact and that thing is not in here which i really really love anyways guys if you really love our videos why don't you just subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends it will really help us to grow even more more and more and uh, to be honest the video quality came out very good and guys uh, the rom is pretty good so don't worry and guys uh, there are not a lot of bloatware so yeah that's a pretty good thing well, one more thing I'd love to show you is that in the past few ROMs there were some issue with the orientation sensor. Uh, it was like, you know, uh, if just I just, you know, somehow like uh, just tilt the phone a bit, it moves from portrait mode to landscape mode while playing the video. And that bug, the over sensitive of the, you know, orientation sensor or rotation sensor, that bug has been fixed in this ROM. I was using this ROM and I, I had to, you know, completely go to the landscape mode to get the landscape mode in the video. I really love the fact in the previous ROM, if I just tilt the phone a little bit, it went to the landscape mode and I really didn't love the fact. So that problem is fixed in this ROM. Yes, go for this ROM guys. This ROM is a please. Thanks my subscribers who have ever told me about downloading this ROM and installing it. So guys, like and share is your duty. If you don't like it, vote it down. Subscribe to our channel for other videos like that. Other videos are also in the description. Make sure you check that as well. Stay awesome. Stay subscribed.